<clears throat> the IB9380H. This is the camera many of you have been waiting for. Yes, we finally have a VivoTech bullet. It's a five megapixel camera with a 100 foot IR range, IP66 weatherproof, shoots video at 20 frames per second, built in micro SD card, and of course it's fully TAA and NDAA compliant. Let's jump into this unboxing. All right, so this is future Tyler editing this video. I just realized none of the sound for this whole part came through, so I am just doing a voiceover here. Anyways, let's take a look at this bullet camera. Inside the box, we've got our quick start guide, we've got our uh, mounting template, we've got our hardware and our weatherproof grommet, nothing new here. So let's move right onto this camera body. It's a beautiful bullet camera, nice barrel shape. It's uh, sleek, it's aesthetically pleasing, it's nice and compact. I really like the look of this bullet and my favorite part is the three axis angle adjustment. If you remember our H series cameras back before the whole hike vision fiasco, we, uh, we had these bullet cameras that were super easy to adjust. All you had to do was unscrew the knob at the top and you had access to adjusting the horizontal angle, the vertical angle, uh, the tilt of the camera, well, that's once again back with these ball and socket bullet cameras. All you have to do is unscrew that knob and you have instant access to all three angle adjustments. Super convenient when you're installing the camera, not as convenient for installations where the camera is easily reachable, simply because anyone can come along and adjust the angle relatively easily. So be sure when you install these to install them out of reach. If that's the case, then uh, these are gonna work just fine for you. We've got the IR LEDs here in this ring. Uh, they ha this camera does have up to 100 foot IR range and the lens there, it's 2.8 millimeters, five megapixel. On the bottom of the camera, we do have this slot for a micro SD card. Uh, you'll notice that the slot is held on there with hex screws and there is no hex wrench in the box. Uh, that just means you're gonna have to supply your own hex wrench, which isn't an issue for security camera installers. If you're like me, you have a couple of these things just lying around from past cameras that you've opened up. I found one pretty easily that fit. Underneath you have a micro SD card slot. Uh, it's hard to see in this video, but you also have a small reset button in there as well. When you are putting the cap back on, just be sure to make this nice and tight, uh, just to, to make sure this camera keeps its IP66 weatherproof rating. We don't want any of the elements getting into that SD card. The bottom of the camera, you can see that this has three holes for installation. It's super easy to install, especially with the ball and socket angle adjustments. You can easily unscrew that to move the lens out of your way when you are mounting this. Screw it into place with three screws and you're done. Just like other VivoTech cameras we've seen, this pigtail only has a single cable for an ethernet connection. You're likely gonna be installing this with power over ethernet anyway, so it just saves you some space there in the pigtail. Now let's go ahead and install this here at our test site and we will pull some sample footage, which I will show you right now. And that is the new VivoTech Bullet. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Again, stay tuned for more VivoTech products coming down the pipeline. We're gonna continue growing this brand, but let us know down in the comments what you think about VivoTech so far. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us across social media for more tutorial tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. Happy installing, and I will see you next time.